Euro, and Copa America 2024 have ended and the focus is shifting back to club football. Manchester United played a friendly match against Rosenborg to test new tactics in preparation for a successful season. Despite their preparations, Manchester United lost 1-0 to the Norwegian team at Sundung Lake Hundan in their first preseason friendly. Manager Eric Ten Hag criticized his players after the loss. In an interview with MUTV, Ten Hag was honest when asked about his thoughts on the match. A 53-year-old manager criticized the performance of both senior and young players. He emphasized that, while results are not the priority, the team must perform well before the season starts. He reminded everyone that the standard at Manchester United is to win, not lose. He added that if they cannot win, they should not lose in the way they did, conceding a goal in the last minute. Ten Hag stressed that the performance in the final moments was not up to par. Dutch manager fielded several star players in the match. Players like Marco Reus, Majin Mal, Casemiro, and Aaron Juan Basaka started the game. However, their performance was lackluster. They barely made an impact or being substituted at halftime. This was part of Ten Hag's plan to give players 45 minutes of play before making changes. However, the way they performed left fans feeling uneasy. Rosenborg's attacking approach led to several dangerous situations. They had 22 shots, seven of which were on target. Young Manchester United goalkeeper Radek Vitek played exceptionally well throughout the match. He had the potential for a standout performance. His team did not perform well enough. Ben Hag continued his assessment of the match. He highlighted Radek Vitek as Manchester United's best player. The 20-year-old goalkeeper had an outstanding performance. The 6-4 goalkeeper spent the latter half of the previous season on loan at League Two side Crawley Town. He made 18 appearances and has returned to Manchester United to prepare for the new season. Vitek's performance will likely give Eric Ten Hag much to consider. He made a string of fine saves, denying Rosenborg on several occasions. The young goalkeeper also impressed with his distribution and command of his area. It would not be surprising to see him become part of the first-team goalkeeping group. That is if he continues to impress during preseason. Last season, Manchester United conceded 20 or more shots in 15 Premier League matches. This highlights the need for significant improvement in their defence. Manchester United fans can be thankful that their team did not lose by a larger margin, as Rosenborg dominated at times. Ola Setter put the ball in the back of the net early in the match, but the goal was disallowed for offside. In the 20th minute, Casemiro was fortunate to escape injury after a strong tackle from Thomas Lena Olsen. Speaking of Casemiro, we can't forget about Radford's position. The aforementioned players have been dropped from the England and Brazil squads for Euro 2024 and Copa America. After a poor individual performance in the 2023-2024 season. As for Mason Mount, he has not played for England since the 2022 World Cup, and his debut campaign at Old Trafford has turned into an injury nightmare. The former Chelsea midfielder's highlight of the game was probably the assist for Ethan Welling's goal, six minutes before halftime. But in the end, there was no goal as the teenage striker's finish was too tame. Rosenborg were the ones who ran more and created more good goal-scoring opportunities in the first 45 minutes. They might have had a handsome win, were it not for the presence of goalkeeper Vitek. The second half was no different as the team from Norway were the better players. Rosenborg had two shots on target in the second half, could not convert them into goals. In fact, the computer even recorded a statistic. In the 88th minute, Rosenborg had 19 shots compared to Man Uti's five, along with 55% possession in favor of the Norwegian team. It was probably a much tougher night than Man Uti expected. It would have been fine if the result was a draw, but they conceded in stoppage time to accept their first defeat of the 2004 summer friendlies. We can say all the positive things about the negative, but I'm not that kind of person. This is not the standard of top flight football. Top flight football is you have to achieve much higher standards, and it starts with individuals making sure they are physically fit. I know you can't be at your physical best at the moment, and you need these kinds of games to get back into the swing of things. I know we are going to play against a team in their league who are much fitter. 
But that's not the point. We are Man UD, and Man UD players, a team from Man UD will have to play much better. It can be seen that coach Eric Ten Hag was very angry with his players' performance. He believes they did not play to 100% of their fitness and uses fitness as an excuse for the team's failure. It is not clear what is going on inside the team, but Ten Hag's harsh criticism of his players in the interview could make some players uncomfortable and disagree with the Dutch manager's handling. In the past, former coach Ten Hag has repeatedly caused conflict with his players because of his straightforward personality. The squad on tour in the Far East will return to Manchester United for further training before flying to Scotland to play a friendly against Rangers at Murrayfield Stadium. It is believed that Jadon Sancho will be part of the squad for the weekend's game. This will be followed by a preseason tour of the United States, where Ten Hag's men will face Mikel Arteta's Arsenal, Real Madrid, and new manager Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. This will be their final warm-up game before they begin their Premier League campaign, home to Fulham on August 16th. This is truly a challenging time for Ten Hag, as fan expectations are very high. This comes after the Ineos group decided to put their trust in him and award him a contract until 2006. Not to mention, Ten Hag has the support of Ruud van Nistelrooy, the once famous striker who is currently a hot commodity in the transfer market, with many clubs wanting to bring him in to lead their team. But van Nistelrooy has ignored all those opportunities. He accepted the job of an assistant to help Ten Hag in the mission of bringing Manatidi back to its golden age. There is still a lot that Ten Hag needs to change after today's defeat. Typically, the position of Rashford still has many rumors surrounding the future of the English striker. But it would be a surprise to see Rashford leave the 20-time English champions right in this summer transfer window. After being left out of the England squad for Euro 2024, he was present in this match and was named on the left wing. But the 26-year-old striker's performance did not make a positive impression. He was overshadowed by Ethan Laird right from the first half of the new season. Perhaps we shouldn't read too much into the defeat to Rosenborg, but the club's stars did not show their mark. Among them, Casemiro, who is rumored to be moving to Saudi Arabia, also did not play impressively. Besides, there are also some opinions defending that Eric Ten Hag did not do well because he did not have the best squad in hand. Are those excuses really reasonable? Because Rosenborg is only a mid-table club in the Norwegian league, how can they cause such difficulties in the Red Dead Devil? Right from the approach to the match, players' form, and the coach's tactical adjustments encountered problems. Every cloud has a silver lining, as these are just the early experiments of the new season. There is still time for Ten Hag and his students to look back on what they haven't done well after today's defeat, thereby drawing valuable lessons when officially entering the 2024-2025 season. Let's wait and see how a beloved team that is expected to play will perform when they have great support and expectations from the fans.